What's up Sharks? Mr. Burstein here with Sharky and we're going to show you guys what a day in the life of a student at Bone Elementary is going to look like COVID style. So first things first, come on with me. We're going to come through and we're going to see this sign. This, first, this sign right here says students only be on this point. All right, this is where we're going to say goodbye to our parents. We're going to give them a high five. We're going to give them a hug. They're probably going to be so sad to see us go or maybe, maybe they're excited to see us go back to school. Who knows? But you know what? We're going to give them a big hug. We're going to tell them we love them and we're going to walk out of campus. It's very important we don't let our parents go past this point because we want to make sure that we have as little um, traffic on campus as possible, which means we only want students on campus for the most part, all right? So then we're going to keep walking. Walk with me, guys. Walk with me. We're walking, all right? Very important. We're masked up, making sure we're walking, all right? We're not running to our class. We're going to be excited, but we need to make sure we don't walk, all right? We're walking. We're walking. My shark's going with me. Very exciting. Shark, are you excited? Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Very important. We see campus. Got to love campus. We're going to walk to this open gate. Okay? Don't go to the closed gate. Check it out. Closed gate. Can't open it. We're going through the open gate. Come with me, guys. All right. Ah! All right, as you guys can see, there are these directional arrows on the ground telling us which way to go. If you don't know how to read an arrow, let me know. I'll let you know how to read an arrow. But typically, if the point is pointing that way, we want to go that way. If the point were pointing that way, we would want to go that way. Very important to know that. All right, so we're walking real quick. As you guys can see, safety is the most important right now, right? Staying six feet apart, making sure we wash our hands, we wear a mask, and we cover our coughs and sneezes. Very important. All right, so we're walking, let's walk. We're walking, we're still walking. And if you're a shark, you're swimming, you're swimming. Okay, so we're walking. And we come out here, we're seeing our friends. What's up, Tommy? Hey, Jill. Hey, Billy, what's going on, buddy? We're very excited, okay? You're gonna see your sign, your teacher sign. I'm in Miss Stutz's class. How lucky am I? I love Miss Stutz, she's great. I'm gonna walk behind and I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna wait. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. My friends are here, what's up? Okay, but you wanna make sure that you guys are still six feet apart. You guys are gonna be so excited to see your friends and that is okay, but we need to make sure we are six feet apart. All right, how do we know if we're six feet apart? Well, if you're in somebody's personal bubble and you know you can feel their, their, uh, their br them breathing on you, you're probably too close, all right? So we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. You won't be waiting long because the teachers will be out here by 8.25, 8.30 to take you guys' temperature, making sure you guys have, you're not running into fever, okay? If you're not feeling well, make sure, tell your teacher I'm not feeling good. Take, the teachers are going to take your temperature and at that point you're going to walk with your teacher single file line to the classroom. So we're walking. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, I love being back at school. This is great. Oh my gosh. As you guys can see, there's not a lot of kids here right now because there's nobody here. And the arrows, there are the arrows again. Wow, look at that, arrows. So we're walking, we're walking, we're, we're still maintaining our social distance. Very important, you guys keep your distance, right? We're very excited, we're walking to class. We're going to wait. Very important too, when you're back in class, your teachers are going to actually give you some hand sanitizer. Why is that important? Because we want to make sure we have clean hands when we go into the classroom. All right? So as we get into class, we've got our hand sanitizer. Our teachers are going to let us know where to go. Oh my gosh, look at this. Never give up. Never give up. Right? See the directional arrows in the classroom? Okay? Everything is very easy for you guys to follow. There are rules that we have to follow. Unfortunately, right now because of COVID, but we want to make sure that we follow those rules to keep ourselves safe, our, our classmates safe, and our teachers safe. All right, I get my seat. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. As you guys can see, look, you got little, little, little windows, all right? So, what's up, Sharky? Me and Sharky are here. Sharky's working over there. I'm working over here. This is great. I'm loving life. This is so exciting. I'm so excited to be back at school. But you know what? I am like any other seven-year-old, and after four minutes in the classroom, I have to go to the bathroom. Can I go to the bathroom? Absolutely. So what am I going to do? I'm going to walk over here, first things first, and I'm going to use some hand sanitizer before I go to the bathroom. Very important when we leave classrooms and go to a new classroom, we wash our hands. I'm walking. Let's go. I'm going to make sure I follow the arrows. All right. You guys can see as I'm walking, see the arrows? Right? Notice, once again, arrows going that way. I'm going this way. If you want to make it easier on yourself, stay to the right, okay? You always want to stay to the right. Whatever direction you're walking and stay to the right. So I'm going to the bathroom. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be back at school, but I really gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, mom made me hot chocolate this morning and it was so good. 
All right, you guys, I'm walking. Now, notice how I'm walking in the hallways. Guys, sharks walk in the hallway. When we get here to the blacktop, if our teachers tell us we can run, we can run. But until we get to the blacktop and it's playtime, we are walking in the hallways. Very important. We do that for safety reasons as well. Just because we're so focused on COVID doesn't mean we can't focus on the other safety measures that we have in campus as well. All right, I get to the bathroom. Wow, look at that. There's a sign in the bathroom. How cool is that? It says, wash your hands. Always wash your hands. You guys see these hooks? All right, hooks are very important. Not only do you get to come back to school, but you get your own personalized bathroom pass with, uh, with, a, with a hook on it. So you get your own bathroom passes. So that is pretty awesome. What does that mean? We have your own bathroom pass because these hooks are for your bathroom pass. This says, hey, somebody's in here, okay? So I walk in, I see a bathroom pass, okay. I'm allowed to have two people in the bathroom at a time. Two people are allowed in the bathroom at a time. I'm gonna put my, my bathroom pass right here. There's two people in the bathroom. If there were two passes already on the hooks, you guys, that lets me know, well, two is the max capacity, which means I have to wait my turn. So you're gonna see these fun little dots all around campus. It says, thank you for practicing social distancing, which means if we're waiting in line somewhere, we need to put our feet on those dots and we need to wait patiently. Five plus five is ten. All right. Somebody walks out after washing their hands. Oh, perfect. Now it's my turn to go into the bathroom. Put here, boom, do my thing in the bathroom. And very important, you guys, we see this wash your hands. That's not just COVID. After using the bathroom, you should always wash your hands, okay? But wash your hands. We make sure to grab our pass when we leave. Don't leave your pass there. It's a $5 charge if you lose a pass. It's not actually a $5 charge but don't lose your pass. All right, and then we're walking back to class and I am very, very excited to go back to class. But notice I am walking. I am so excited to go back to class, but I am walking because that are, those are the rules and we need to make sure we walk. And so I'm gonna walk back to class and I'm going to get my hands sanitized again and I'm gonna sit down and I'm just so excited to be back in class. All right, but now it's time to leave. So. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna line up in my line with my teacher and I'm gonna walk single file with my teacher. And this is pretty easy, guys. All you have to do is follow your teacher and listen to your teacher. If your teacher tells you to go right, we're gonna go right. If your teacher says go left, go left. If your teacher says, hey, stop looking at the sky, you're gonna trip. Let's stop looking at the sky because we might trip. So we're gonna walk with our teacher and we're walking and I just love Miss Stutz. This is the greatest class ever. We had so much fun today and we're walking. And Ms. Stutz will say, Mr. Burstein, you need to wait in line because it's time for you to get lunch. And I go, oh my gosh, Ms. Stutz, I completely forgot. I got to get lunch. So I'm going to wait in line. And I'm going to have Ms. Arabeno, our, our noon supervisor, let me know that Mr. Burstein, it's time to go in to the multi-purpose room to get your lunch. And I'm so excited. I get lunch. Who doesn't love school lunch? All right. And I'm going. Okay. And she, she's going to let me know, Mr. Burstein, it's time to go in. So I'm going to go and I'm going to walk in. And I'm so excited because I had the greatest day at school and now I get a free school lunch. This is amazing. Shameless plug, you guys, there is free lunch for everybody. Please make sure if you guys want to get lunch, you get lunch. It is delicious and it comes with a snack and breakfast for the next morning. I'm going to get my lunch. Thank you so much, lunch ladies. You guys are amazing. You're the best chefs I've ever met. I'm going to walk out of here. And Miss Key, our other noon supervisor, is going to let us know. All right, Mr. Burstyn, you have a great day. You're going to go ahead and join your class over here in the corner. I'm gonna find my class. Oh, there's Miss Stutz. Hey, Miss Stutz. I'm gonna wait here and I'm gonna hang out with my lunch and I'm gonna wait in line. And then eventually Miss Stutz is gonna tell me that Mr. Bergstein, your mom's here to pick you up. And I'm gonna say, oh boy, and I'm gonna walk and I'm gonna meet my mom and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna have the best day ever and tell my family what a great day I had. All right, you guys, that was a lot of stuff. And as you can tell, I'm out of breath. And I had a fun time walking with you guys on campus. I'm so excited to see you guys. And I hope that we can have a fun and safe time together here at Bone Elementary. And I'm sure there'll be questions and things will change as things change when things don't work. But I want you guys to know that my number one goal is to keep you safe and make sure you get an education. So with that, I'll leave you with this. Why did the pencil not like school? Because he had no point. I said that joke wrong, and I apologize. <laughs> well, you guys, that is the worst joke in the world, 
and I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off with this. You guys are awesome. I can't wait to see you guys. Um, and actually, I do have a joke for you. Why? What kind of what kind of store does a dog not want to go to? A flea market. You get it? A flea market. That's pretty bad. All right. And what I will say also this week, Louie and the Shark Bowl get to go to a class it is very from he's very familiar with because Miss Carpenter's class actually won Louie and the Shark Bowl again with the best attendance for the second week in the row. Congratulations, you guys. Attendance was pretty good this last week, but I think you guys are all ready to come back to school and make sure your attendance is the best it can be. So congratulations, Miss Carpenter. Louie is excited that he can just rest his his uh, his body, his bones, actually not bones, but cartilage. He's excited to hang out with you guys for another week. And I can't wait to see you guys next week. And I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. Remember, Friday is an asynchronous day, so your teacher may or may not have you log into class. But please note that if your teacher is assigning asynchronous work, that you guys finish it and get that work done at home. All right? You guys have an awesome, awesome, awesome weekend. All right? Make sure you watch the March Madness basketball that starts Friday. And you guys, stay classy. And don't forget to smile.